Hey yo, Quantic, run them bands up. Know why you do that shit? Yo, this is Noah Cuz. I'm back on the Split Mind channel. So today I'm gonna break down this ambient guitar gunna type sample that I made. This is what the sample sounds like. Right, so you can hear that's really ambient and i'm gonna show you guys everything that i did for it you can get all of these sounds in my anti collection for analog lab 5. it's a collection of my anti-gravity anti-matter and anti-phase banks you can get them all in one bundle for a lower price so right now on drumify there's a crazy deal going on you can get every kit on the site for 40 percent off this includes the anti-collection bundle plus any of the other kits from your favorite producers but yeah so i'm just gonna break down the sample so you can see i have the bpm at 134 right now i stretched it to 134 later on i actually made it at 123. The first sound I used is this Beacon Bells preset from my anti-phase bank. This is what the bell sounds like. All right, so this is really just two chords. It's a D minor going to an A minor. For the chord, I added the root, the minor second, the minor third, and then the fifth. For the second chord, I brought the fifth down to a fourth. For the next two bars, I copied that over and then just brought it down five semitones. So it's a one five chord progression now. I strummed these chords, and then you can see that I stacked the fifth. For effects, I added this reverb intensity into this bandpass narrow preset from Pro Q3. Next, I added portal with like a 5% mix. Next, I went into Shaper Box and I added this filter with this volume automation. This filter is mixed super low. It's just giving it a little bit more movement. Next, I went into Sketch Cassette and I just changed the age settings and then these bright settings. And then finally, I added Soothe just to tame some resonance around 2.5K. All right, the next sound I have is this multiverse ambient pad from my anti-gravity bank. This is what it sounds like. So I'm playing the same chords as before, D minor to A minor. You can see here, I just inverted the minor second up an octave on both chords. And then I made the strumming even more spaced out. For effects, I added this bandpass narrow preset into the spring reverb. I made the decay long and then the width super mono. Next, I went into this preset in phaser tan just to give it some phasing. Next, I added this S1 imager just to bring the width down a little bit to shape the sound how I wanted it. Next, I added this volume on shaper box just to give it a little bit of a side chain. And then I didn't have this portal active so we don't have to worry about that. All right, the next sound I added is this infinity sub bass from my anti-matter bank. This is my favorite sub bass. I've been using this in all of my beats and all of my samples. This is what the bass sounds like. just following the root notes. And then I switched this last note up an octave just to give it some variation. For effects, I used this decapitator. I just brought the drive up some into this EQ where I'm just cutting the deep lows at around 45 Hertz. All right, so next I added my guitar. I'm just gonna play what the final product sounds like. I wanted to keep it kind of quiet and tucked in the back. This is a D minor chord to A minor, back to D minor, back to A minor. You can see I have a volume automation on each one of the chords, which kind of makes it fade out at the end of each two bars. So for this random part, I just kind of plucked some random notes, just tried to fill in the melody a little bit. Sounds kind of fire. So in the original guitar part, I had this melody playing, but I didn't really like how the note sounded. So I decided to chop just this last note and reverse it. And that's what you hear right here. And then this is pitched down like five or seven semitones, I can't remember. So for the effects on the guitar, I have this Volf compressor pressing quite a bit into this preset from Echo Boy Jr. I just brought the mix down a lot. Next, I added this acoustic guitar clean wide preset from Microshift and I just brought the delay all the way to tight. So for the EQ, I cut out a lot of the lows below 200 Hertz and then I just took out a little bit of the highs. Finally, I added this ambience wide keys guitars preset from Abbey Road Chambers. 
It's a reverb plugin. And I used that same preset on all of the guitars. I just took the micro shift off on the reverse part. All right, so next I added this only one perk loop and you can see I chopped it up into sections. Just took out the parts that I didn't want to leave some space in the rhythm of the melody. I also have a texture playing. I'm gonna play both of those together so you can hear what they sound like. So yeah, pretty simple. I don't have any effects on the texture, but for the perk loop. So I have this compressor, putting a lot of compression on it. And then I brought the mix down some to use this as a parallel compressor. And then I went into this band pass narrow and soloed this band. Next, I have these accents and reversed accents. I basically just played with the octaves in between these. This is what they sound like. For effects on the accents, I have this bandpass narrow preset with this band into the spring reverb. I made it have a pretty long decay and then it's hitting almost in the middle. All right, so next I recorded this vocal and I ended up chopping it up, but this is what the whole vocal sounds like. I added a lot of effects on this. Melodyne was just fixing the pitch into this EQ, into this auto tune, into this compressor, into another EQ, and then finally into this reverb. So after I had that, I rendered it out and then chopped it up. And these are the chops that I got. So I added a few more effects on that. I added a shaper box with a left and right pan. I brought the mix down and then I added this volume sidechain preset. After that, I used a little Alter Boy to bring the format down and then I brought the drive up. Next, I went into this bandpass narrow preset and then into the spring reverb. You can also see that I have this automation clip on the vocal, which is making it fade in and then it goes back down before it fades back up for that last part. So on that key that you saw me have at the beginning, basically I stretched it to double the length, pitched it down a full octave and then hit reverse. And then I chopped up the chords, that way it's still hitting D minor first, A minor second. And then I added this automation clip. So this is what those chords sound like now. You can also see that I chopped up this bass. I just took out half a bar at the end of this one and then a little bit at the end of this one. Just kind of did some random chops throughout the whole thing. So yeah, once I had all of those laid out, you can see I structured it. So basically for the first eight bars, everything's playing. Second eight bars, I took out the vocal. The next 16, I copied that over, but I took out the bass. And then the next 16, I took out the main guitar. So after I had all of that, I rented it out into one audio clip and then I pitched it up one semitone. You can also see that I changed the mode to stretch. And then this is when I brought it up to 134 BPM. I added some master effects. I got this tip from CD. I added this little altar boy and I just brought the format down by 0.3 and then I brought the mix down to like 10%. Next, I went into this EQ and I'm just kind of shaping the sound how I wanted it. I boosted the highs, a little bit of the mids. I cut the lower mids, cut some lows, and then I cut all the lows below like 40 hertz. Next, I went into this tape plugin and I brought the amount up to like seven and a half. Next, I went into sketch cassette. I brought the age down a little bit and then messed around with these bright knobs. And then finally, I added this fab filter limiter just to make it louder. So yeah, that's the whole sample. I hope you guys enjoy this video make sure you go get the whole anti-collection for 40 percent off on drumify.com while you're there check out everybody else's kits this is the best deal of the year you're not going to get 40 percent off on drumify anytime else so make sure you go use it right now let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next video go follow me on instagram at noah cuz subscribe to the split my channel thank you all for watching i'm out peace